Hi everyone, Brian here. So a little more work on Wells Cathedral and just a few comments on the roofing work I've done. So I've probably spent, you know, two hours working on this thing. And what have I done in two hours? Well, in two hours, I've glued the Lady Chapel um, to the retro choir here. And I've assembled this roof piece, which was one piece that had to be folded together a number of different ways. I have created the retro choir roof, which was three pieces that needed to be put together. And then I put together the um, sacristy roof on both sides. So just a couple of interesting things about this. I mean, with any paper model, how it fits together is gonna to depend in part on how you've cut it, whether you've cut on the lines or in front of the lines and beside the lines. And even when you get it perfect and um, uh, when, uh, the model creator, like Rupert, puts it together and mathematically, you know, measures it all out. You're always going to have some small gaps and, and imperfections that you have to work around is what I'm finding. And I'm relatively new to these card models. So the imperfection I found here is you can see when you look at the retro choir roof that it doesn't quite join together on either side with the lady chapel it comes close but it doesn't quite do it um that's fine you know you step back here a little bit and you're really not going to see that there's a gap there so part of this is working on a model and being too close to it and seeing too much of the imperfections um, and knowing where they are, but the average person is never gonna see those things. And little by little, as much of a perfectionist as I am, I'm, I'm learning not to let those things bother me. So what I do is, is I, I evened it out on either side and I didn't worry about it. Um, and then other things, so when you put this roof here together, this is one piece that glues up together. And so you're really kind of forced to deal with the two seams first. And then when you, when you set it on a flat surface and you push down, you realize it's not quite level. It's a little wonkety, a little bockety, um, as we say in this household. Um, and so what I did is those two books right there, I went ahead and set this down on the table and I put the book on top of it and I let it lay flat for about an hour so that it just kind of pushed it down. It got rid of some of the tension so that it would lay flat. Um, and then when I glued it onto here, I just put glue on the tabs around the edges and I just, you know, I just held it here with my fingers like this. And because the books had already gotten rid of a lot of the tension in it, all it took was about, you know, two minutes worth of pressure on here before the glue set up and I was good to go. Um, so that's one way to address that kind of thing. Um, when I was dealing with the retro choir roof, I glued together the seams on one side. So that would be this side over here. I glued that up with this and I test fitted it a couple of times. Uh, actually, it was this side I did. And then when I test fitted the other side before I glued it up, I saw, and you might be able to see here, um, there is no gap in this seam right here. There is, you might be able to see a little gap in that seam right there. Um, I wasn't going to be able to glue this all up together and push it into place and get it around this curve effectively. So what I did is I took a, um, a pencil and I colored in the top of that roof a little bit. And then I applied glue to this and immediately pushed it down into place so that it would actually set up with a spacing there that would work for me. Um, and because I applied pencil there, you really can't tell. Now, while I'm talking about that, I also came in across the top where I did these folds and I penciled in all of that. I penciled in these edges over here. Um, so there was a lot of pencil applied to make sure that uh, I think over here you can actually still see some white along the top of that seam. Um, you can't see it so much over here. Um, so just coming in across with a pencil really hides a uh, world of sins. The 
sacristy roofs um, only had a few folds to them, a little bit on each side, and I glued those up and tweezered them together for about 15 seconds and then went ahead and put them in place here. And really the, um, I don't know what you call these officially, but like the parapets here that stick up above were enough to push that in. It glues along this edge and it glues in this little tab right here. Um, but those, those parapets, these pieces that stick up, um, we're able to push that in on both sides and glue that down without a problem. The other thing all of this is doing, which is nice, is it's squaring the model. So the more pieces we put on like this that are braced against multiple pieces, the more solid the structure becomes, um, the more level it becomes, the more it kind of um, sets itself down where you want it to be. So I'm looking at, at uh, I don't know if you really can tell here, angles like this, and this really needs to come in on both sides just a little bit to be level. So I'm already starting to think about when I glue the whole model down, um, I'm going to want to adjust the walls because there's still some flexing in here, and I've been starting to think about whether or not um, I want to put a brace across the top of these two tabs to pull that in to where I want it to be up front so that I'm not worrying about trying to do that all when the glue sets up. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, these roofs, uh, Rupert did a really nice job coloring in these roofs. They really give an impression of uh, a metallic surface uh, just colored like they are. So really, you know, I keep saying what, what beautiful art these, uh, these models are, and I stand by it. I'm more impressed with each step I take on this. So there you go. Um, <laughs> these models go slow. I'm guessing that uh, by the time I'm done this, I'll be into it for 20 to 30 hours, maybe more than that. Uh, but you want to work slow on these. You want to be careful. You want them to glue up properly. Um, they're really impressive models, and you want to take care uh, and enjoy the process little by little as you go through it. So anyway, that's where we're at this evening. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.